Welcome in Jermaine Durand and me. Congratulations. The Iron Lady, it did not take, what, 16 <laughs> seconds? Um, again, uh, same question I asked you, right? Could you script that any better? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> absolutely. This is the fastest knockout in my career ever. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, how do you feel about this stoppage, though? Because you know that's the thing everybody's going to bring up right of away. Course. Jermaine, Jermaine, you really didn't win. They won it for you. They stopped it too early. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was a good stoppage because, you know, I really, really rocked her with the punch. Then I threw another punch, and if her Dean wasn't going to step in, I was going to jump and, and finish the, and on top of her and finish the fight anyways. Why do more damage? She was ro she was rocked bad. I mean, I I hit her and she turned around. So it was a, it was a hard punch. I'm, I'm telling you, it was a hard one. So uh, I I believe it was a good stoppage, but you know I'm not the the, the referee. The referee made a decision, and yeah. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Her being is actually just a mixed martial art competition himself. And also, if you look at the replay, he's not even looking at you. He's looking at her eyes. And what I saw, her eyes looked like they were glazing a little bit. It looked like she didn't know where she was at. You landed a punch, and just from knowing you from Strike Force and the UFC, when you throw a hard right hand, you do something different. You do a brief pause, and you come back and throw power with the other side. I'm assuming that left hook was going to come after the right hand anyway. It was going to come, and sometimes, See? you know, you yep. just got to... You owe me 20 bucks. Oh, I didn't think it <laughs> <that> was. <laughs> <it. laughs> yes, it was going to come. It was going to come. But sometimes you got to... You, in fighting, I've learned sometimes you got to watch the reaction, see the holes, because sometimes I have to make an adjustment instead of throwing a left hook, throw an uppercut or something else. So I take the brief second to see how she reacts on the punch and capitalize on that. You know, and speaking of <laughs> 20 bucks and yeah. betting, the odds were against you. They said that she was a favorite in this fight. I thought that, you know what? I think the people in Vegas have it wrong. What did you think about that when people started saying that you were an underdog? Uh, yeah, what can I say? What can I say? If I look at my last fight, it was a little bit of a boring fight. So I understand that maybe they say the odds were against me, but hey, I proved tonight that odds don't mean anything. Did you think about this? She had a hard way cut. Is this something that in your coaching staff, in your camp, they say, you know what? Let's go to her body early. Let's dig into the stomach. Or is it just business as usual, stick to the game plan? Bisho business as usual, absolutely. You know, I mean, you cannot... Uh, you know, cannot think, you know, the weight cut did a lot of damage. You yes, know, you she can. You can punch right to the stomach, too. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> nice. Well, you did. You're tied now for the fastest finish in Bantamweight history, and I think you're in second position now with the most knockouts uh, with four in Bantamweight history, which is really incredible. What you lead up to? What? What's next? I mean, hey. I have to fly it on over here and ask my girl what's next because you make a compelling argument. Um, you know, uh, Holly Holm just had her chance at the title. It didn't go her way. I think people would be in uh, interested to see you and Amanda, another terrific striker, going at it. Um, what do you What do you say? I mean, I, that would be, of yeah. course, a, a dream picture. But I've heard Amanda wants to defend her uh, 145 belt first. I absolutely respect that. My team, I've heard the UFC is going to New Zealand. I love traveling. My right. team and I <laughs> want to go to New Zealand. So let's fight a fight before that. And then I'll, when Amanda's ready, I'm ready. Well, well it was do a you want to fight before then? I know. Just... Oh, I don't I'm mind. Saying, listen, I don't mind. Copenhagen's right. only a few weeks away, and that's close <laughs> to home for you, and you True. didn't even take a punch. True, true. Look we at me, I'm all of a sudden I mean, If you go outside, it might be somebody ready right now. <laughs> yeah, you never yeah, know. So I'm a police officer, I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what, though, Jermaine, it's funny because you have such a lovely personality, and I feel that... Like, people misunderstand you to some degree. What happened before with the belt, this and that, there's misunderstandings, your hand was broken, you need a surgery. I don't feel like everybody got the real picture, the real story of who you are as a fighter. Do you feel that you had something to prove or something to, exp like, you need to s explain to people about who you really are? I, of course, you always have that feeling because that's absolutely not, after everything that happened, that's absolutely not the portrait I want to give people. Yeah. You know, I'm a very positive spirit. I. I just love fighting and I love entertaining people, you know, and I love to share my love for fighting with other people that love fighting and bring out a positive message. We as fighters, we are our role models. We have, you know, we're in this world and we're on TV, you know, a lot of people are watching us all around the world and we want to give a positive spirit, you know, we want to give a positive advice, show people that we live our dreams and that anybody that has a dream just go out there because there will always be people that doubt you. There will always yeah. be people that tell you you can't. But I'm, I'm, you. We are the living. Pr you probably too. You love what you're doing. Yes, absolutely. You know, we're the living proof that ev if you dream something, go after it. It's possible, and that's the only message I want to give to people.
So how do you remain positive in a sport that you're actually, you know, supporting? You're actually giving the big fights and big paydays when you start talking a little crap and you start calling people out. Sometimes you watch the sport and the nice guys kind of finish last. So how do you remain positive and stay on that mission and vision when you can look at the other people on the staff making tons of money by doing it the opposite? You know why? Every day I go to my job. I love my job. You know, I love helping people. And every day I look in the mirror and I never forget who I am. I never forget where I'm born, where I'm raised. And that will never change me. You know, money is not everything. That's love, true. you know, having a pure soul, you know, being happy. Priest you know, sister. Being, <laughs> I, I, I mean, being healthy, being happy. What more do you want in life? That's true. I mean, right? I, I am a blessed person, so I don't need I received that. I don't know I if know, you I did too. I've <laughs> got But I felt it in my here. spirit. Uh, and listen, I have to say on a side note, I used to have like a picture of your legs on the fridge as my dream set of legs. Uh, I, well, I have Yours? a picture of us together still. So yes. Strike force day. Strike force day. I need me to leave. I know. <laughs> <laughs> listen, um, Jermaine, keep up the great work. Happy for you tonight. Uh, don't listen to the haters. Keep staying positive because it's a beautiful thing. We love seeing it. Congrats. Thank you so much Congrats. for having me. Hello, everyone. It's Ariel Hawani. I just came here to thank you for watching our ESPN YouTube channel. It's the best. You know what else is the best? The ESPN app. You can get highlights, analysis, all that stuff and more. And if you want premium content and live streaming sports, there's only one place for all of that. It's ESPN+. Plus.